try it again. Hello, today for our lab-like exercise number four, we're going to take a look at the effects on the pH of the combustion products of various fuels. Uh, we're going to look at the combustion product of hydrogen, the combustion product of natural gas, of wood, and of dirty coal. Now, natural gas is mostly methane, wood is a cellulose, and dirty coal, for dirty coal we actually have a mixture of carbon and sulfur to mimic the combustion products of dirty coal. First, predict the products of these combustion reactions. Second, predict what the effect that combustion product will have on the pH of water as these products are dissolved in water or bubbled through water. And then of course, based on your observations, I would like you to complete this lab-like exercise following the lab-like exercise template. Today we are using distilled deionized water which has a pH of 7 and to provide a method to observe that we are using what's called a wide range pH indicator solution. This indicator solution changes from yellow at a pH of 7 all the way up to a blue purplish color at a pH of 11 and all the way down to red for a pH near 1. So here we have our initial solution that has a pH of 7. Our first example is going to be the combustion of hydrogen. This torch is actually lit and we are going to turn off the lights in the hood uh, so that you can actually see the flame because hydrogen flame is nearly invisible. Now going to be placed by the exhaust intake, it's still collecting. You can see the condensation on the inside of the funnel to collect the exhaust from the combustion. Note the color corresponds to a pH of 7 and we've collected actually quite a bit of exhaust from the combustion of hydrogen and we have yet to see a change in the pH as an effect of the exhaust combustion product. The next combustion product that we're going to look at is the combustion product of natural gas. The first thing you'll note is that the flame is much more visible. I'm not adding oxygen to this flame, so the oxygen that is used in this combustion is coming solely from the atmosphere. Again, we're going to place this in the exhaust collection. Be observant of the color of the water that the exhaust combustion products are being bubbled through. As you can see, the pH of the solution containing the combustion products of natural gas in water have lowered the pH somewhere perhaps around a pH of 5, maybe a little bit higher. All right, we are now going to observe the combustion products of wood and its effect on pH. We've got our fire going and as you can tell the pH is again lowering and again it is approaching a pH of approximately 5, maybe a little bit higher than a pH of 5. And this is our sample of dirty coal and what effects dirty coal have on the pH of water. So we're igniting our coal sample now. It's harder to observe directly because the coal doesn't put off a flame. You'll note quite rapidly the pH has been affected and more substantially. And this is our manufactured dirty coal. It's actually extremely dirty coal because we are incorporating sulfur powder with our coal to make dirty coal. Notice the pH is now somewhere between a pH of 3 and 5, closer to a pH of 3. Please account for all your observations. 
Stay tuned for LLE number five.